this morning taking my walk. Best thing about taking these walks early in the morning is the wildlife that you see. Everything from birds to a bobcat to even a possum we saw a few weeks ago. Don't know if I'll see anything today, but I'm definitely gonna see a great sunrise right over there. No wildlife yet, but every now and then something creeps up behind you. I expected to take that, but we're actually going up into town because today is a very special day. It is. It's Alexa's birthday. Today is Alexa's birthday, our niece, and we're going to go over to uh, my dad's to celebrate. Well, and we should call her. We, we can, but right now we're going to go get her a gift. We need to get her something uh, that um, something that only we can give her. She is eight years old I don't know, today. Slap on the butt? We, I can give her a slap on the butt. Yeah. I can give her two. And we need to get some sandwich material because I'm gonna make some sandwiches because we're gonna eat at my dad's. And we're doing that in the truck today. Fiat goes uh, goes back tomorrow. And then the next day we have a whole new car coming in. What could it be? How cute is that? Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. How cute is that? <laughs> She'll look good in it. You got the chips. I have chips. Again. Uh, we, we can bring water. That's good. We got everything. Alexa, we're coming to see you, aren't we? Yes, we are. Creature in the bushes. I wonder if it's another possum. No. Give me some. No. I got it. I'm hot on these. This is 
is the best chip on the planet. I'm sorry, it's Chip Wars. Play us a tune, Play us a tune on a tune. 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 Play us a tune on a Away. Not bad, but you need All practice, right. buddy. Well, <laughs> yes. Alexa, it's your birthday, and we're gonna go get frozen yogurt, Woo. Oh, or ice cream, or something. Because I'm so fabulous. Are you? You're so fabulous that we need to go and celebrate every day this whole year. Yay! All right. to come down to the beach. It's about four o'clock, pick up a little bit of trash. There's not that much, a fair amount, but one little piece makes a difference. Makes this place that much more beautiful to throw the ball for the dogs, come and hang out, relax. It's a gorgeous day. full bags that Kathy's got two more. to the beach there's a whole slew of new trash but the interesting thing is that there's lots of people on the beach and they're watching us pick the trash up and if you watch them slowly they'll start to pick their own trash up and it's important to recognize that we do affect people we can affect them positively we can affect them negatively it's our choice the point is to choose wisely and to do things that help expand and enhance the world in some positive way that right in your own home on your own beach, in your backyard, in your neighborhood, wherever it is. As long as you do your part, other people will do theirs. at Pepperdine with the dogs. They haven't been up here in a while and Bug likes to swim.
Wow, he just swam across the entire pond. Lots of people have asked me, you know, how do you do what you love when you got a full-time job or you're you're uh, busy in the throes of raising kids or just busy, busy, busy? And, and and you know that there's this thing that you really love to do, but you don't have the time. You don't get out there and do it. And the secret to to doing what you love is you have to make that a priority. You have to you have to realize that there's specific times of the day that you can dedicate towards work. There's specific times that you can dedicate towards family, and there's specific times you can dedicate to yourself. There's also fun time. The gift that you give yourself for your own time. Now society is structured that we, we we're supposed to work five days a week and then we have a weekend and the weekend is really cool because that's when we get to do the stuff that we love to do. I'm talking about us showing you guys a way to make your life a weekend. And that requires uh, uh, a, a certain level of, of things that happen, have to happen in succession. Number one, you, you gotta really know what it is that you want. You know, what, what makes you happy? You gotta, you gotta sit down, you gotta think about this. What makes you, uh, what's, what brings the most passion into your life? What really makes you happy? What brings you joy? And then by hook or by crook, you gotta do a little bit of that each day, even if you did it only one minute. But it also requires faith. It requires faith and it requires persistence. Doing what you love requires also not listening to the doctor knows of the world, that they, you know who those guys are. The guys that tell you, well, you can't do this. You gotta go get a job. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. Every great entrepreneur will tell you that they became successful because they did what they loved and they didn't listen to anybody else if they told them they couldn't. So this channel, Fireball Malibu Blog, is dedicated to helping you guys find a way to do what you love and make that your life. Do what you love and love what you do. Every day I get to play with cars, Kathy gets to go to the beach. We make healthy dishes, healthy food for ourselves. We made it a priority that our lifestyle makes us happy. And don't get me wrong, it didn't always start out that way. But just like walking from Los Angeles to New York, you don't really, you can't really tell that you're you're moving forward. But as long as you take one step at a time, you're gonna get there. So I don't care if you love swimming in lakes, collecting rocks, making things for your kids or your grandkids. It doesn't matter what it is, you just have to make that a priority in your life. And understand that the number one reason that we're alive and here on this planet is to experience joy. The more joyful thoughts that we give out, the more joy comes back to us in all the circumstances of our life. So don't get discouraged when things aren't working out. Everything happens for a reason and it's there to teach you. You just have to ask yourself, what is this thing telling me? What is it teaching me today so that I can expand and I can grow? For me, I like to drive cars that I've never driven before and I like to go places that I've never been before. So I hope you'll continue to hang out with us here on the vlog. It's an awesome journey and I'm glad you're along for the ride too.